welcome UNL fans to the very first ever UNL TubeCast. I am Scott Anderson, your commissioner. Joining me tonight is Jake Joyce. How are you doing tonight, Jake? Good, Scott. How are you? Fantastic. Thank you. I'm really excited to do our first TubeCast. Thank you for co-hosting with me. Really appreciate it. Happy to be here. All right, so let's get right into it. Some rules for those who may not be familiar with the United Nations League. Managers have exactly two wrestlers, uh, one national character from the United States or Canada, and one international character from anywhere basically outside the United States or Canada. So hopefully that creates a certain diversity with our wrestler roster. Currently, wrestlers are not allowed to transfer into the UNL. So you are going to create somebody fresh, somebody new. Obviously, it can be a character you've already done, but it's going to have a 0-0 record to get started with. If managers do the match deal, they get two for one on their Battle Royal entries. So basically, you get both your wrestlers in the Battle Royal for a dollar. Had a pretty good, solid Battle Royal entries first few cycles. Would you agree, Mr. Joyce? (laughs) I would, I would. (laughs) I would definitely agree. (laughs) Fantastic. Do you have your UNL bulletin in front of you? Do you want to go over the I prizes? Do, yeah. I've been anxiously awaiting this moment. My time <laughs> to shine. That would be wonderful. Each cycle, the league champion will win five free UNL matches, which I have yet to redeem mine from last cycle. I, this is a reminder to me right now. Uh, it'll increase to 10 free matches if there are 15 active managers. And the prize increases to $12 in IWA credit if there are 30 active managers. There is a new tournament each cycle. Each winner of the tournaments will receive five free matches. And if we have 15 active managers, those tournaments will result in 10 free matches. Very sweet. And the winners of the, of the TV six-man championships will receive two scrub matches sent in by our dearest commissioner, Scott Anderson. So actually, mentioning our commissioner tournaments, who recently won the first global tournament? That was Rick Rancher, unfortunately. Oh. Okay, and who did he defeat? Defeated uh, Jacob Vandenberg, to my Excellent dismay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you think about our rules and prizes? It keeps you engaged, and I like it because sometimes IWA tournaments or events can be overwhelming, but this one's very clear-cut, and I like how it just kind of happens automatically. There's no need to remember when you have to enter. <laughs> <laughs> It just kind of happens. It's a really uh, hands-off type of league in that regard. It's really, uh, what is the word I'm looking for? Convenient? It's, it is convenient, yes. But that's not the word I'm looking for. But we'll go with that word. That's a good way to describe it. It's very convenient. So, you had mentioned the champions a few minutes ago. Would you mind running through our November 2017 Cycle 6 champions? Sure, I can totally do that, and this is, uh, again, why I was so anxious to do this, so I could <laughs> I could happily mess up everyone's name. League champion is Flying Dragon, Felipe Rasu. TV champion is Anne Spivey. Brazil champion is Bandil Naidu. China champion is the Chosen One, Mac Trilla. Great Britain champion is Texas Hick, Rick Rancher. Mm-hmm. India champion, yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I'm feeling bad about saying that name, too. India champion is Africa's Deadliest, The Manimal, which is a fantastic germ song. Iran champion is Akbar. Japan champion is the Canadian crippler, Antony Martin. Mexico champion is Zach Gagnon. Nigeria champion is Anne's bodyguard, Zhang Fi. Russia champion is Hot Stuff Adam Cash, which his name is everywhere you turn these days. Uh, U.S. champion is, and this is going to be kind of funny because I'm not, sure how to pronounce that last name, but I can I can have my co-host help me out here. Oh, Valen uh, Aria. Valen Aria. Valen Aria yeah. is the U.S. champion. Tag team champions are C.C. DeVille and Akbar, and they actually won five free matches from retaining. Uh, TV tag champs are Hot Stuff Adam Cash and Freddy the Butcher. Six-man champions. Six-man champions were the American Hercules, Rocky Kirkman, the chosen one, Mac Trilla, and Africa's Deadliest, The Manimal. And the TV six-man champions and winners of two free scrub matches apiece were Akbar, Zach Gagnon, and Bandail Naidu. Congratulations to them. And actually, Noble House definitely pulled one out because Rocky has been inactive for several cycles. They picked up a partner who was not going to pull his weight, and they made that guy pull his weight 
all the way to the six-man titles. Right. Congrats. Congrats. That's excellent. You'll notice on the front is this really awesome logo. So I have to give the shout-out to Flip for making that amazing logo that we use. Appreciate that. I'm going to use that until the end of time. (laughs) Uh, So we had mentioned earlier before we got started some scrub wrestler names. Jake, do you have any favorite scrub wrestler names? One or two maybe that stick out to you that are especially... In fact, I have two that I always love to see. Of course, it would be the decent Muda, who is in last place, unfortunately. And then my all-time favorite, Nook the Known Weapon. (laughs) Nice. Those are two good ones. If I had to pick two myself, I really enjoyed thinking of Bruises Easy Brody. Oh, yeah. And Abdullah the Deli Man. (laughs) Uh, So those were my two favorites. (laughs) Abdullah the Deli Man. Felt really good about that one. Ivan the Not Too Bad is very good, too. (laughs) Which is interesting because, you know, he's not too bad, but his name is really good. (laughs) So, do we want to run through the trash talk real quick from this past cycle? Yeah, let's go through it. Okay. So, in the back of the bulletin, apparently not quite up to snuff into the uh, trash talk bulletin, is Valen Aria, who is calling out Akbar and CC DeVille for their partying ways. Recently injured CC, so I think there's going to be a matchup at the first pay-per-view. What's that first pay-per-view? World Warfare. World Warfare, yeah, that, <laughs> that fantastic advertisement about halfway through there. Yeah, it's lovely. Thank you. Nice and dark, you can barely see it. Uh, so uh, Akbar had some strong words himself in reply. Sounds like he's going to uh, break out his old ways, so we'll see if Valen's prepared for that. I have to say, of all the covers I've done in uh, six months of commissioning two leagues, I think this past cycle's cover with uh, Adam Cash and Fatty the Butcher is probably the, my favorite one that I've done. It was very appropriate, too. I think it looks pretty sweet if I can compliment myself, which I really... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Take the compliment. Yeah. I think you deserve Pat it. Pat myself on the back, Barry Horowitz style. <laughs> uh, you had already mentioned the commissioner tournaments, so we have a couple pages of global tournaments going on. How do you get in these global tournaments? Oh, well, so it, it begins every cycle. There's a brand new one. They are announced. First round will take place the following cycle. The number of wrestlers in each tournament will depend on the number of active wrestlers. So there will always be at least eight. And the number increases every four managers. So you cannot be in consecutive tournaments. And the best strategy total totals from the active wrestlers will be in the following global tournament. And nice. uh, tiebreakers for both entries and tournament will be dependent on battle royal finishes. Ah, longest yeah. time since last entry. I hope managers and wrestlers enjoy with that is the idea that as long as you don't tank your strategy more than once or twice in a row you're going to get included so you're going to have a chance to run a hot streak and win a global tournament win five free matches definitely in the back of my mind is to do something tremendous once we have maybe say 8 12 or 16 global tournament winners since we start a new one every cycle so far, each tournament, other than the first one, which included everybody, 28 people, incredible. Every tournament so far has included 12. I haven't hit that benchmark of 16 managers yet, but hopefully that is coming. I know we have one new manager planning to come in for the December cycle, so that's exciting. Looking forward to that. And you know, if you're looking at the strats that you actually post in the rankings, it's a very impressive thing to be able to enter that tournament because... There are some tough players in this league. Indeed, I would have to agree. I think the UNL was very lucky. When I started the league, I tried to reach out to several players that I thought were quality players and quality people. So if I didn't reach out to you, that doesn't mean you're not a quality person or player. I I tried to reach out to people that I knew and uh, was hoping to get some support from. And thankfully, I had a lot of support. So I will be eternally grateful to those players and managers who came and joined us. But unfortunately for all of us, that means that there's a lot of stiff competition. Right, that's very true. So continuing through our trash talk, looks like we've got a couple pages from Rick Rancher and Naul, who look to be building their feud. Looks like they tried to have an interview, which did not work out. They ended up fighting each other, and it looks like they're going to have a Tokyo death match, since our first pay-per-view will take place in 
Tokyo, Japan. You know, uh, Rick Rancher said some things that can't be taken back in this TT. Let me tell you that much. Certainly yeah. changed uh, how I see this man. Pretty <laughs> underhanded, I do say. <laughs> you know, and he's talked about a lot. It seems like he's actually really uh, he's turned some heads here in the UNL and step on some toes because a lot of people are calling this man out. I would have to agree. He has he has angered uh, several wrestlers. So yes, he... looks like now we'll be the first one to try and make him regret those words. We'll see make how that humble. goes. Out. So we had talked already about uh, Akbar calling out Valen for his sneak attack. There's a excellent trash talk with Vladimir Verklep, who apparently had too much to drink with the party boys. So we'll see how that affects him moving forward. I thought it was that he actually wasn't drinking. He had very little amount. Wasn't that what the uh, what had happened? His manager. Am I forgetting things? Am I making? Did I dream this? Was this a, a TT dream that I was a fever dream that I was having? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I I could have misread it. That is possible. Oh, that's what it was. Yes, which is essentially water where I'm from. You're right. He was drinking a wine cooler. Hey, you can you can get pretty sloshy on wine. <laughs> okay, they have it only takes stomach. about eighteen or nineteen. <laughs> <laughs> they do taste good though. Get with the program, sir. <laughs> Moving along with our TT, we've got some excellent pictures from Noble House's Mac Trilla. And the Africa's Deadliest, the Man Animal. And I'm going to say their name like that every time, like Paul <laughs> Heyman with Brock Lesnar. They've really been on fire lately, so we'll yeah. see uh, We'll see how that continues. Noble House has just been dominating IWA in general, it feels like. Yeah. All the way back to, uh, who was it? Was it Benny? Benny that won the King of the Ring recently? Oh. Out of the know. BRL? It looks like the Vandenbergs are breaking up. Any comments on that, uh, Jake? Yeah, it's about time. It's about time. Timothy can't stand in the shadow of Jacob anymore. It's time to break out of his shell and leave behind his proud nationality that he once had. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. Be excited to see where that goes. The Quebec hitman calling out blood money doesn't look too thrilled with their arrival, as well as the Kardashians. Speaking the of those Kardashians, they replied and are challenging the Quebec hitman to a match, and he's asked the commissioner to sign it. And I can reveal that it is highly likely that I will sign that match up. World Warfare coming up. Get those matches in. So finally, we have a extensive interview, Adam Cash, as he discusses his uh, background, his upbringing, how he came to be the man he is today. If you have not read it, it is top of the line. I highly recommend it. Thoughts or comments, Mr. Joyce? Well, that their debut last cycle was a spicy debut, if you ask me. It's good to see that we have some legacy players in this league. Mm. Seeing Adam Cash and Fatty come over here. So they're giving us the name and the name brand that we hope to uh, draw more players with and draw more attention to this deserving league. Agreed. Thank you. Yeah, definitely. It means something, I think, with blood money, good or bad, right? right? There are right. certainly going to be players who are like, oh, no, blood money. <laughs> but, you know, my encouragement to them is to come and beat the snot out of Adam Cash and, All right. you know, have All your right. way. All right, exactly. If you want to... Make a mess of blood money. Here's your fourth or fifth option. <laughs> you know, I just realized... It's really the, the best one. Right. Yeah, that is yeah. the best one. Yeah. Yes, I think so too. Yeah. I just realized now that Trumpets and Crumpets did not send in TT this cycle. They're typically my favorite characters to read. Yeah, I was I was saddened also. So we'll see. Well, hopefully, hopefully they come back. Yeah. yeah. I know I, I laughed out loud reading their oh, TT. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely they make me. Them. They make me laugh out loud. I hope there is an acronym for that. <laughs> Save us time. <laughs> Expedite that process. Uh, so I had previously mentioned we have first pay per view coming up. This cycle that will run uh, next is cycle seven, our December cycle. The following cycle, which I'm guessing will be holidays, we'll see. Uh, the one that happens right around Christmas time is when the World Warfare matches will play. In addition to matches signed by managers for feuds, we have a two matchups uh, that are semifinals. 
that will determine ultimately our United Nations champion, our first Woo! champion. Yeah, coming up. Also, the third and fourth place finishers from our recent round robin brackets will face each other and we will crown our first Can Am champion and our first international champion. Woo! Woo! Yeah. Additionally, oh my goodness, this show just keeps getting bigger. We will crown our first <laughs> continental champion. The continental title will be defended a little differently than the others. It will be defended every cycle against the previous cycle's Battle Royal winner. So hopefully that adds a little incentive for our players to enter the Battle right, Royal. That's awesome. We also have our first contest starting soon, the tag title contest. Uh, Jake, what are your thoughts on the uh, World Tag Title Contest? Oh, I'm very excited about it. The World Tag Title Contest. It's almost kind of like when you're in school and you're asked to buddy up with a friend that you don't know very well to work on a project together. And each wrestler was made to pair off with either a national wrestler with a national wrestler or a international wrestler with another international wrestler was it made some interesting teams yes it did and actually if you're interested go to the unl board request to join please tell me who you are and i will almost assuredly add you to the board and then you can see the amazing video where the teams that did not elect to choose their own partner were selected. Yeah, it was lovely. It's five minutes of cinema masterpiece. <laughs> uh, uh-huh. Do you ever watch, um, the, do you know what ASMR is? No. It's but I, very, very relaxing. Like it's this thing on YouTube where it's very relaxing videos. Like you watch people like flip through comic book. That was kind of like an ASR, ASMR video to me at the same time. I was watching it at work, so I was very stressed out. <laughs> and uh, it calmed me down. I'm like, that was very relaxing and very enjoyable. I'm glad you enjoyed it. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Uh, the UNL page is on Facebook. If you Actually, if you pull up the latest UNL bulletin, there will be a link to the UNL board. It's a Facebook group. It is, it's not a number. It's not you know 14,000 numbers. Uh, it's actually <laughs> called, it is www.facebook.com slash groups slash United Nations League. All one word at the end there. So United Nations League at the end for your Facebook group. Pretty happening place. I post, I try and post a reasonable amount of updates. An amount that will keep players interested while also not becoming a bit overdone. Well, also, that is the spot to be on Bronze Tuesdays. Yes, I agree. Thank you. That's the happening spot. There are some really quality leagues in Bronze, but I don't think any place has the amount of happening, as Gorilla Monsoon might say. It is a happening on Bronze <laughs> Tuesday. That is our first contest, the tag team title contest. I can confirm now that the winners will split the $16 in IWA credit. So $8 per manager may not, Woo! you know, $50 credit. But hey, $8 will get you most of your UNL league for that cycle, if not the whole thing, you know, depending on your... <laughs> That's fantastic. On a play. In addition to the, of course, honor of being the first world tag team champions. Woo! I would also like to discuss just for a moment the following pay-per-view. Uh, looking way ahead after World Warfare. In March will be a pay-per-view called The Rumble. I would like to confirm at this time in breaking news <sighs> that the UNL will present its own version of a Royal Rumble that evening. To enter this Royal Rumble, each player will contribute or pitch in $50,000 in imaginary cash. Ooh, nice. The winner will receive the sum of all the players who uh, joined the Battle Royal, the Royal Rumble. So this is not your average Battle Royal. We're going to do this Royal Rumble style. It's going to be big, folks. They're going to enter every 90 seconds. And it's going to be like a six-page write-up, and I'm going to regret doing it. <laughs> but I'm going to do it. So, also, along with the money that is contributed by each player that the winner will receive, additionally, the money that is banked all the way up from cycle 1 to 12 will also be included, which Whoa. is whopping 600000 Dollars in imaginary cash. That's a lot. So, so this prize could get rather large 
rather quickly. Yeah, that's going to be a big pot. And just to throw it in, uh, 10 free matches to the winner as well. Oh, nice. Yeah, it never hurts to get some free matches. Oh, yeah, so, that's a good price. Breaking news, looking ahead. Any thoughts on that, Mr. Jake Joyce? Uh, I think that's it's a wonderful price. And I think even just the honor of winning it would be enough, but here you have tacked on this money and free matches. <laughs> so, any other thoughts, Jake, as we look at maybe uh, wrapping up our first amazing TubeCast? Again, I appreciate you joining me tonight. Yeah, any thanks. final thoughts? Yeah, so things are going really well so far in this league, and I, I'm actually very excited for when the uh, commissioner's titles will be claimed because I believe that's going to add an entirely whole new depth to this league. And it's kind of weird thinking that they haven't been claimed yet because there is so much activity. I'm just looking forward to having that extra oomph, if you will. Excellent point. I actually hadn't thought of that. But yeah, my, my idea, my thought with waiting is that it would really build up being the first champion and being the first right. challenger. Uh, so hopefully players have uh, enjoyed the waiting. The waiting is so sweet. It is sweet. <laughs> it does build it up. It's like Christmas Day. Yeah, excellent. Uh, thank you. Yeah, any other final thoughts? No, I think that was pretty much... the That was the one I was waiting to get out, was that I was excited about the commissioner's titles being activated. Awesome. I will say, though, that the UN title, we're going to have to wait just a little bit longer. That title will not be claimed until the second pay-per-view, which is the Rumble. Right. In place in Nigeria on March 27th, 2018. And why is there a wait for that? Uh, well, I, I, I wanted to build up the titles, and then I wanted to extra build up the world title, Ooh. like uh, what is essentially our world title, right, the United right. States or the United Nations, excuse me. That will be our 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 primary main title, and so we we started out with the round robin brackets. So everybody who was active in cycle two, I believe it was two or three, right. uh, was included. So we had fifteen wrestlers in each bracket. The top two in each bracket enter the semifinal. So two national players will wrestle for a, a chance in the finals. Two international players will wrestle for a chance in the finals. And that those two matches will take place at World Warfare. And then those players will have three or four more cycles to build up to United Nations title match, which hopefully is enormous by the time we finally get there. Right. Yeah, that's going to be awesome. Wrestling for the Can-Am title at the pay-per-view, our first champion will be either the Canadian Crippler I don't know how to say that name. Yeah, that's wait. Uh, it's Ant. It's Antoine. Is it Antoine? The oh. Canadian Crippler, Mister Martin. Uh, <laughs> we'll face, I get around it. So yeah, we'll face uh, Timothy Vandenberg, who recently turned on his his cousin. Yeah, so that should be interesting. Uh, the international title match will be Akbar versus Dictator Kim. Ooh. So Akbar looks sounds like he'll pull double duty that night. He's going right. to face off against Val and Arya. Uh, the semifinals, the national mat on the semifinals is that villainous Texas hick, Rick Rancher, against oh. Ann Spivey. Hopefully we hear, we hear what Ann Spivey has to say. She's been uh, killing up the title page. Yeah. So hopefully we get oh, some yeah. trash talk from her, hear some of her story. Uh, the international match is the Flying Dragon will face off against Vandal Nadu. Ooh. Yeah, so that should be an interesting contest. Both those wrestlers have definitely been uh, on the title page a lot, top notch. Right. So that'll be interesting to see who will face each other for the right to be called the first United Nations champion. All right. Well, I think that uh, to close up, I just want to thank my co-host, Jake Joyce, once again for joining me for the very first ever UNL TubeCast. Hope to see you in a few weeks. and. We will see you soon on Bronze Tuesday. Woo! Woo! Commissioner Anderson likes to take it easy. It's not me. It's my guys. No.